Hello. In this quick screencast, we're going to take a look at Jersey, at REST, at Waddle, and at NetBeans. So Jersey is basically a framework and a set of APIs for doing JAX-RS programming. Waddle is an XML description of a deployed RESTful web application. It defines a contract between a web service and a client that might want to consume it. Jersey, interestingly enough, automatically generates out of the box a basic Waddle at runtime that you can obtain from your REST application via putting slash application dot Waddle at the end of the URL of your application. Once you have this Waddle file, you can go to NetBeans, right click on the web services node and say add web service, and then point to the URL of the Waddle file which will result in NetBeans generating a bunch of nodes similar to these for Amazon and for Google and so on. And these nodes can be dragged and dropped into your Java classes, which will generate stubs for creating your own REST clients. So all of this we're going to do in a simple example. And the example is here. The example comes from the Jersey documentation when we go to the main Jersey site, this is the main Jersey site. So it is wikis.oracle.com slash display slash Jersey slash main. We get to a list of example applications. I've clicked on this download link here, which has produced a zip file. And in that zip file, one of the, one of the folders is called simple servlet. I've extracted that folder, and this folder is actually a Maven application. It contains a PAM file. So I then went into NetBeans, and I went to File and Open Project, and browsed to the place where I unzipped that folder, and I've opened it into NetBeans, and now I have a Maven project. We can see we have a number of RESTful web services available here. Um, we can also see that we have some Java code, of course, defining these uh, various services. So you can look at these yourself from the example. I've made a very small change, and that is I've upgraded this to JAXRS 2.0, which was a question of changing the palm file to use the JAXRS 2.0 dependency. And I also went into the WebXML file, and I changed the class that defines the servlet. So the servlet class is now org.glassfish.jersey.servlet.servlet.container. I've done this, and then I ran the application. Application opens up, and here it is. And you can see our resource 1, 2, and 3. You can test the resource, and you can see that there is a result, hello world, from resource 1. When we look in resource 1, and we open it, and you can see here, hello world from resource one in servlet, and here's the name of the servlet. So we want to consume this inside of a client. So according to these instructions, what one would expect to do is put slash application dot waddle at the end of this URL. But be careful, because you need to take a look in your web XML file and see if there is a URL pattern that's been defined there. You can see here, yes, there is a URL pattern for the servlet that we are, that we are using, which is my application. So we put here resources, and then we put application.waddle, and here's our waddle file. Excellent. So now I copy this to the clipboard. I go inside NetBeans. I go to the web services node. I say add web service. And I put here this URL, and I put here a package name, which will be used to generate the classes that will be generated in the next step. So here we are. We have a number of resources available, as you can see. Um, describe. So these are the methods that you can see here. So there's a method, there's various methods here for this resource 3. And this resource one, and resource one has a method called describe, and um, resource two has a method called describe, and so you can see that these each of these methods are represented here by various nodes, which can be dragged and dropped. So we're going to do that next. 
So we create a new Java application and we call this one simple client and we put it somewhere and we click finish. Here's a simple client. Now here is the cool part. We will take a method and we'll drag it into our main method here. Um, so for example for resource one we take this, we drop it and we can see that various things are now generated. Um, and these are the various classes. So um, you can see here that we have a REST response. And what does that REST response look like? So here you can see this is all being generated for us. A getter and setter, basically uh, the, the main object for a response. And a connection object. Let's look at the connection object. And we can also see that there is a root simple servlet. So a servlet's been generated. There's a small mistake here in our REST connection. We don't need these double forward slashes, but just one forward slash. Okay, so everything is set up. We have a way of accessing our RESTful service. It's all been generated for us, and we can refer to that in here. So the describe method we can see um, is access is accessed in a standard way and we are now going to make use of it in our own code. So I'm just going to un uncomment this, Control shift c and then run the simple client. And here you can see the hello world message from our service is, is here available. Now, also a nice little thing is that we can go back to our resource bean and let's change this um, um, this is awesome, and I press Control S. So now the application is saved, or the file is saved, and the and it is redeployed. When I run the simple client again, you can see the message. This is awesome. Anyway, the point is, once you have a model file which is easy to generate, it's just done for you automatically by Jersey. You can register that Waddle file into the web services node and use it as a basis of a client for your RESTful web service. That's it. Have fun with REST, with Waddle, and with NetBeans.